Thanks for joining me again. Starting off as usual with the big A. Just wetting the paper all over, stop it from uh, crinkling, keep it nice and flat. And then what I'm going to do, you can see how the, it's gone a bit dry, so I'm just dipping the tips in. Just dip the very tips back into the water and it brings all the airs back together. And just by dipping just the tips in, you don't get a brush load of water. Which there's nothing more to take when you when you're learning learning to use the height. The biggest problem you'll have is just controlling the amount of water on the brush because it's a it's a real pain. It takes a bit of getting used to it, but stick with it and you'll you'll get there. This is just raw sienna, ultramarine. Um, we have a little bridge here, so I don't want much much sky. I wasn't sure if that was going to come out green or not, but if it was going to be green, then I was just going to put in the, the sort of foliage. But I think I'll leave the sky there. That's all it needs. Um, introduce a little bit of lead and yellow. Let's, let's make it green now. Sort of, just some little faint trees in the background, a bit up there. I'm just going to clean that brush, I want a lighter, lighter yellow. No, just a little bit lighter. Up there, something like that. Something like that. And then on the left hand side. The trees right there. The ultramarine, see how dark and darkens it. A bit of Payne's Rail will darken it even more. Now what I might do is put this bridge in. So, I'm just going to go burnt umber, ultramarine. Now, obviously, you can do a sketch first if you mix it makes it a bit easier. I'm just going to sort of work out where this bridge is going. It's going somewhere like that. It's going to come down there like that. And then it's going. Down off the water's edge. And then it's sort of. Is over like that. A bit more water because I want the I want the colours to try and merge together a bit better than that. And if you, if you want your colours to merge together, you'll have to have a bit more water. If they're not merging, then it's probably a bit, a bit too dry. One of the problems I had was uh, I was thinking, you know, why don't my colours merge as, as well as, as, as these artists I was watching on the telly? It was just basically brush was just too dry, and it's hard, especially when you're using a hike, to, to wet it too much because very quickly you, you, you're diluting the colour so much, and it's, it's hard to control it. Now, when that's dry, I'll put the uh, the inside a bit darker just to create that. 3D effect. So that's just a simple, in fact, what I'd say, I might just pull down some sort of reflection. I'm going to I'm going to wet this anyway, so it, it's not too, too critical, yeah. I'm going to wet this area anyway, so I, I don't worry too much about that. But what I do want to do is just put a little bit. far bank and the grass you can see on the other side. Remember this is just a continuation of that above it. Um, I'm just going to pull this tight, paper stretch lightly and then I'm just going to take my piece of card First, first, I'm just going to put this dark bit underneath. So 
on, it's really dark, burnt umber, ultramarine. This is the bit underneath that's in shadow. The, the, the drier, the drier it is, the easier it will go on. For now, I might put it in again in a bit. So, if you can imagine, there's like an archway. So I'm just scratching in there the bricks that make up the archway. I know something like oh, I haven't done that one. It could have been a bit better of a semicircle, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Something like that. And, uh, Few bricks around the top. Yeah. Few little bricks going across there. I'm going to see what it looks like. I might paint over some of it if I don't like it. Too sure. It just reinforces dark a little bit down there. So yeah, as it dries, it will go on. It will go on stronger and stronger. Just smooth that out a little bit. That'll do for that. Right, that's enough of the bridge messing about. Now, on the left hand side, a bit more of this. Some of this grass there. Let's look at this area. This grass works its way down, down the bank. Just varying the colour, try and keep it interesting. Something like that. Little rocks by the water's edge. Again, just paint over what you don't like. And then over on the uh, on the right hand side. In fact, I've forgotten on the top, we've got a few few little trees. So there's one, something like that. Use the rigger brush for this if you like, I just prefer the hike. Just bashes it in a lot quicker. Slightly over the over the bridge. And what I might do? There's a bit of green foliage on these trees, so I'll just clean the brush, dry it on the acetal, and then just to 
dry brush into your colour. I'm giving lemon, yellow, a bit of ultramarine, a bit of Payne's grey. And I'm just, just using the front of the brush. I put a bit of foliage. Do the water now. So what I'm going to do is just clean the brush, and I've just got a fairly wet brush. I'm just going to dampen this water area. And then what I'm going to then, while that's wet, I'm just going to pop in a few colours in there. So there's a sort of blue of the water reflecting off the sky. And then we got. A few greens, just reflecting from the uh, things above it. We got reflections from the from the bridge. Reflections of the uh, bit above. But you can see th through the little tunnel there. Just mop up this water, it accumulates at the bottom. A reflection there of that muddy, muddy bank. Reflecting some of these. I so just need to give that a quick dry. water out into the jar. And I'm doing lemon yellow. Basically I'm making another green, greeny colour. So you've got your blue, yellow, bit of, bit of paint, grey. Just a few. And on this right hand side, just needs a bit of grass, blue, yellow, grey. There we go, something there and there. That's quite dark now, so I'm going to need it really dark to make it contrast. So you can actually see. Clean the brush. If you want that sort of in shadow there, behind the behind the bridge, you need to be drier than that. Let's go raw sienna, lemon yellow, get a light, lighter grass there. rocks scattered about the place. So I'm going to take me a uh, car and just scrape those in.
a lot of white from where I've been scraping, scraping out with the um, with the card. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of colouring. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of a little bit of raw sienna. Fill some of it, so it's just it's just not all all white around them. Just, it just needs a little figure somewhere, so I'm just going to switch to the rigger brush. I'm just going to go a bit more water. Into the red, and then just work out what the scale is. So we want someone. I'm, just, I'm basically starting from the sort of neck down. This is like the, the top. They like shirts or coats. I'm just going to go into some blue. And if you imagine I walk into the left, so just come down, and then there's them there. That's what bending. A little dog, little dog next to him. This ain't gonna show up very well. It's up behind the grass a bit. Just someone walking the dog there. You know what? I think I'm gonna call that one finished. So all that's left to do now is pop, pop your name in the corner. Just trying to find a dry spot. That's all right, let's see what it looks like with the with the mount on. So here's the painting with the mount on. So, as usual, started with the sky. There's not much sky, it's very high rise and line. Um, and then a few background trees. Just remember to copy down here through the tunnel what you've got above, just so it looks as if you're looking through the, uh, through the thing rather than just. I'd probably recommend doing draw the bridge first, because otherwise you end up doing what I've done sort of funny, funny shapes, semicircles, and all these sort of sort of things. Uh, raw sienna, burnt umber and ultramarine mixes just to create the tunnel, the colour shades. A bit of scraping out with the card just to bring out some of the brickwork. Including this archway here, which then sort of differentiates, sort of differentiates it from the, the in, inside bit, putting really dark to create the, the sort of shade. I could have put, I should have put the, well you can see I've hardly Got any reflection really? That should be a lot darker there. Plus the whole bridge in general should be a lot more prominent. The reflection in the water. The water area was just re wet and then basically predominantly blue, reflecting the sky, and then just lots of bits of pieces above it trying to copy the colours to reflect down below. Not the greatest job in the world, but it's it's. It's it's there or thereabouts. Just off the edge, just coming off the bridge. Then we've got a little little figure walking the dog. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you like that. Please subscribe if you haven't done already, and you enjoy what you watch. You can help me by liking these videos and sharing them and leaving comments. Keep practicing. Any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.